Hey, I heard you got a new best friend Yeah, it hurts a bit, I won't pretend that it doesn't matter That you're with someone now Hello everyone and welcome back. How is the beginning of the year shaping up? <laughs> well, very recently I shared my goals of 2023 with you all where health made it to the top of the list. For me, health is a holistic term that includes everything from weight management, body metabolism, strength, stamina, skin, hair and a positive mindset to build all this up together. And of course, food is an important contributor to achieve this goal. So I decided to share with you all what I ate the entire day recently. While exercise and healthy meals are part of my daily routine, I have also started focusing on adding adequate protein to my diet. Needless to say, proteins are the building blocks as they help in creating and maintaining almost every cell in our body. From building skin and muscles, to repairing old tissues, from proper digestion to regulating hormones, protein does it all. So consuming the right amount of protein has become a center stage of my meal. That's why I usually like starting my day with my protein shake and I have been using HK Vitals Protein Up Women for the same. This is India's first protein which has been formulated keeping in mind the special needs of women. This not only gives me strength and boosts my energy levels but also takes all my requirements for weight management, skin and hair strength. It has high strength triple blend protein with whey, soy and skim milk powder which keeps me fuller for longer and also has Garcinia and green tea extract that helps in keeping my metabolism high for proper weight management. It gives me 100% of my daily requirement of biotin that helps in keeping my hair stronger, reduces hair fall and improves hair texture. And the best is that it also has a collagen builder from vitamin C and amla extract that helps reduce the fine lines and wrinkles and gives me a glowing skin. It's a 100% vegetarian product, comes in chocolate flavor and has no added sugar. This is a 360 degree nutrition for women which caters to our daily need for strength and beauty in the right proportion. I would suggest you give HK Vitals Protein Up Women a try if you also aim for a stronger and healthier self in this new year. For more details, check out the link in the description. Today I wanted to add a rainbow to my plate in one way or the other. This weekend I got overwhelmed with all the winter veggies and bought so many. So I thought of mixing and consuming them in some fun ways today because let's be real, no one likes the same boring meals no matter how healthy they are and the thought of letting these veggies rot in the fridge is so painful. So today's breakfast is vegetable millet chila with coriander chutney. Now that all the grating and chopping is done, I'll start with chila batter. So in a big bowl, I'll take 1 cup of bajra flour, also called as pearl millet. I'll add 2 tablespoons of chickpea flour. Now I'll add all the spices and in this, I'll add all the chopped veggies. Greens are the strength of winter but kids weakness. So chilas make a perfect tiffin box solution for that. For flavor I'll add salt and some sesame seeds and mix everything with water. The batter should have a dropping consistency and now I'll cover and keep it aside for 10 minutes. In a meanwhile I'll make coriander chutney. I am very possessive about my greens and after trying everything I found my way of storing coriander fresh for longer. I had shared a full video on ways to store greens that I'll link in the description box below. So for chutney, I'll take a few mint leaves, green chilli for spice, a piece of ginger and coriander leaves. After a pulse, I'll add roasted peanuts to make them more healthy and flavorful. One teaspoon of cumin seeds, salt and lastly, lemon juice to finish the chutney.
Chila batter is set and I'll make chila on my new cast iron pan. This one is 8 inch pre-seasoned pan and comes so handy for small portion meals. I'll smear some oil on the hot pan and will now add the batter and spread it evenly and cook covered. If you are looking for some new cookware, I would highly suggest you try cast iron. Cooking gets so easier, faster and tastier. Try it yourself with something as small as this pan and you yourself will see a huge difference. Alrighty, so millet chila is ready and so is the chutney. Not sure if it was the recipe or my hunger, but I loved every bit of this healthy breakfast. This one is surely happening on repeat mode. I really enjoy cooking for lunch these days. Dhaire goes to play school and I get some lone time to try new dishes. I was craving for a vegetable wrap with lots and lots of salad. So I started by boiling some potatoes and leftover peas in a cooker in very less water. In my last video, a friend asked me how to make instant pickled salad. So here are the four ingredient pickled salad that I make quite often. I'll slice some onions or you can choose other salad veggies of your choice. Add one chopped chilli for that hint of spice, salt and equal proportion of vinegar and water. I have also added small pieces of beet for that pink colour. In a few minutes, the salad will be well pickled. By the time, I'll slice and chop other veggies for the wrap filling. In my last meal ideas video, I made the paneer tikka wrap and Ruthvi loved it so much. So I think the push to make today's lunch is the greed of such rewarding comments from her. Can't believe she has grown up so much to critique my food. Potatoes and peas are done and I'll make quick masala mix to spice up the wrap filling. In my cast iron kadai, I'll saute cumin seeds, red chilli flakes and minced garlic. Now I'll add the masala mix and saute it well. Into the masala goes the boiled stuff. I'll save some for Dhare as he can't eat wrap. I'll add salt and mash the potatoes and peas very well. So I had some chopped spinach left from the morning batch which I needed in the dough to feed Dhare. I'll use the same dough for the wrap for Ruthvi and myself. For the wrap, I'll make a bigger chapati and once done, I'll smear lots of green chutney that I had prepared in the morning. On that goes lots of potato masala. Above the masala goes all the colourful veggies, the rainbow that I was talking about and the pickled salad of course. Lastly, instead of any dressing, I'll drizzle some thick curd and roasted cumin powder. I hope my food critic will like this as much as she liked the previous one. Hard work paid off well. Ruthvi loved her lunch which was well roti sabzi but with a twist. These days I keep my evening snack very light or shall I say I just eat one fruit. Any fruit? And if it's a seasonal one, then nothing like it. I am trying to do intermittent fasting, so I tend to eat my dinner early these days. Snacking on a fruit doesn't really fill me up and gives me enough window to wait till my dinner. So here I am eating beer, also called as jujube fruit, and it is my all-time favorite. I did a lot of cutting and chopping today, so I wanted to cook a lazy dinner. So decided to make spinach chole with brown top millet. I had pre-soaked both and jumped right into prepping for the chole. 
For chole masala, I quickly make the onion garlic paste for the gravy. Now in a cooker, I'll saute cumin seeds, carom seeds and some hing in the oil. Now I'll add turmeric, coriander powder and lots of chole masala and saute everything well. Don't forget to add water to avoid spices from burning. I'll then add the onion garlic puree and saute for a couple of minutes. In the same mixer jar, I'll make the tomato and ginger puree. The key to delicious chole is always a well roasted masala. So while masala is roasting, I'll cook the millets. I'll add millet and water in 1 is to 2 ratio and cook on high flame till 2 whistles. I'll wait for the whistle to settle down before opening the cooker. Once chole is done, in the end, I'll add salt and spinach puree to finish my spinach chole. For flavor, I'll add kasuri methi, chopped coriander and lemon juice. Ruthvi wanted to eat chapati, so I cooked one for her and for myself, I prepared a well-portioned plate of meal. And of course, some salad for the rainbow on the plate. Karthik is out for some official trip and when Karthik is not around, I and Ruthvi eat first while Dhere enjoy some TV time. And I was so happy to serve some great meals for myself today. I was so thrilled that I used millet in different ways and forms and brought some variation to the simple meal. I hope you liked the recipe. Let me know in the comments which recipe you like the most. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more such videos. Join me on Instagram for behind the scenes in life and share your thoughts, feedbacks and suggestions in the comment below. And I'll see you in my next video. Until then, stay tuned. Stay connected.